Welcome back to NC Continental Prime. And earlier uh, in the news, we told you about the visit of the United States Vice President Kamala Harris uh, to Ghana. Now, joining us to give us more insights into this visit and its implication, we have Professor John Gatsi, is Dean at the School of Business, the University of Cape Coast in Ghana. A warm welcome to you, uh, Professor Gatsi. Now, US, you, uh, you, we're happy to have you. Now, U.S. Vice President uh, Kamala Harris, she's in Ghana but on a three-nation tour. Uh, beyond the optics, uh, what did these three countries she will be visiting uh, stand to gain from a visit? I didn't get your question. I said uh, beyond the optics, what are the benefits for these three African countries? Uh, the Vice President uh, of the United States, Kamala Harris, uh, what would they gain from her visit? Well, uh, I think at the heart of the visit is to provide uh, greater protection and support for the fight against extremist uh, elements within the Sahel, and that is drawing closer to uh, the sub-region, especially at the borders of uh, between Ghana and Burkina Faso, Mali, uh, and the rest. So there is a clear uh, indication of support to that effect. Uh, Ghana is in economic uh, difficulty that uh, is a support to press on the IMF uh, to speed up processes to accept Ghana's uh, program. There is a pledge of about uh, $139 million uh, to support uh, the death situation of Ghana. And then there is also a pledge to support our legal aid office uh, to be able to fight for uh, those who do not have the means of taking legal uh, advice from lawyers. Uh, so those are the things that come to the table. There is a pledge to support food security and the climate adaptation issues for agriculture. So these are the things that have been articulated. Mm. But as to whether uh, the benefit will be released uh, uh, at a goal uh, within a year, within two, three years, uh, we are yet to see because uh, we, we do not believe that the U.S. can just dole up $139 million to support Ghana's efforts. Uh, we do not believe that all the things that they are saying will happen this year. Uh, so that is uh, what uh, is being discussed in Ghana currently. So this $139 million package of bilateral security, economic and development assistance, uh, you don't see it having any effect on the Ghanaian economy, which is in need uh, of support at the moment. Yeah, we are in need of support, but uh, we do not think that uh, the, uh, the American government will release uh, $139 million to support all the things that they are talking about. They came with their businessmen and women. Uh, some of them will pass in through their, their activities and uh, may not go directly in the hands of government for government to use as it wishes. So that is a point uh, I am okay. making. And, and uh, I think that's what has happened when Bush came to Ghana, when Clinton came to Ghana, when Obama came to Ghana, in the same strategy uh, that was used, and we believe in the same strategy that will be used in the current time. Uh, I believe uh, it is also an effort to ward off the greater influence of Russia, China. And, and that brings uh, me to this question, Professor uh, uh, Gatsi. You've said you've seen this play out in the past before, so you don't expect anything different. And also, Africa finds itself in this uh, geopolitical schism, uh, this great power competition between China uh, the United States and Russia. Africa has become the beautiful bride again, and everybody wants a piece of Africa. So, Professor Gazi, how can we position ourselves as a continent uh, to be the winner here and make uh, the best out of this uh, newfound attraction? Well, I think that is left to uh, political players to, to decide uh, because Ghana's relationship with uh, uh, United States has been far long, 
uh, in various areas in culture, security, diplomacy, etc. And in the same way, Ghana's relationship with China has been deepened over, over the period. Uh, so that is something that Ghana has to balance. As we speak, Ghana is uh, with uh, China discussing how China will help us in uh, realigning our debts. And uh, quickly, uh, the Vice President of America is here uh, promising economic uh, uh, development. Uh, but gradually, people are uh, divided. People believe that there is, a, uh, there is a need to balance our position to benefit from Russia, China, and also benefit from the United States. That is uh, what is being uh, discussed uh, uh, currently, because American came, uh, but in addition to all that American came with, uh, is uh, the thorny issue of LGBTQ plus uh, issues, uh, and the Ghanaians don't seem to be happy with that development. Uh, and, and he spoke. She spoke about that today. Okay. So, in the midst of all the economic package. Uh, Ghanaians believe that they don't need to sacrifice their cultural values uh, 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 for, for, for the kind of aids and, and code that is being promised. Thank you very much uh, for your time and insights, Professor John Gatsi. Uh, Dean School of Business, University of Cape Coast. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Thank you.